Hi everyone, my name is Vikas and in this video we'll talk about the interfaces which we have in Solidity. Uh, so this is a part of the series which we are creating on Solidity and we all we already covered about error handling, logging and the abstract contract in the Solidity language. So in case you have missed that video, so I will just share the link uh, down below in the video description so that you can go over that also. So this session is um, primarily focusing on the interfaces which we have in the Solidity language. So in Solidity, we can define the interfaces and we can use the interfaces. And that is what we talk about in this video and in this session. So let's start with this one. So first of all, the question comes in our mind, what is interface in the Solidity? So if you people have worked upon any programming language in the past, maybe C, C++, Java, or .NET, or any other programming language, you might have heard this concept already. So, Solidity is no different. Whatever concepts you have heard in the past in the other programming language, same applies here as well. Like inheritance, overloading, overriding, the con uh, abstract classes, uh, interfaces, so all these concepts are also applicable here. Only there are some syntax uh, got changed and some some features are not available and some features are different. So we'll talk about the interfaces in the Solidity in this session and we'll show you that how it look like and how it can be used in Solidity language. So let's start and see what is interface in Solidity. So, uh, when we talk about the interface in a Solidity, we call it as an interface when all the function which we have defined in that does not have any implementation. That means all the function will not have a function body. So the example is shown here, as you can see, we have defined a interface with the name member and this member has two functions, set name and set age, but these two functions don't have any function body. That means it does not have any implementation. So this becomes a interface. So you can have multiple functions inside uh, a interface, but the prerequisite is that all the functions should be, should not have any function body, uh, should not have any implementation. If you try to add any function body, it will show you compilation error. It will show you the fault saying that, okay, function body is not allowed in this interface. So this is how the interface look like in the Solidity. Now the question comes, we already talked about the abstract contract in the last video where we have explained about what is abstract con contract. Now the question comes and some people ask us that what is the difference between these two abstract contract and the interface. So the, the major, major difference here is that in the abstract contract, uh, it is a contract where if you have at least one function which don't have a function body, then that contract become an abstract contract. So suppose you have four functions inside a contract, three function has a function body, but one don't have the function body. So that contract will become as an abstract contract. But in, in case of interface, all the function will not have a function body. So this is a major difference we have between the abstract contract and the interface. And then the use of interface, how this can be used. So any contract can inherit this interface and they have to implement all the function which is defined in this interface. So the example is shown below. So we already talked about the interface member which has two functions set name and set age. Now uh, another contract teacher is inheriting this interface member. Now this contract is going to implement both this function set name and set age. So this is how it can be used. This is how the interface can be used. But you will not be able to deploy the interfaces on the blockchain. You can deploy the contract which is inheriting these interfaces, but you will not be able to deploy these interfaces. And very important part which you have to understand here that there are many, many features uh, for the interfaces which is not currently applicable in the Solidity, which will come in the future like uh, interfaces can't inherit uh, one more interface which we are defined it can't inherit the contracts 
right? There are many features which we used to have in other programming language, which we'll not talk about here because that is the upcoming features which we have soon in the new version of Solidity. But this is only only what we can handle right now in the Solidity with the interfaces which we have shown. Now let's go ahead and jump to the sand zone. Let's see how this can be used and how uh, we define this one. Let me close this one here. So now what I will do here, I will create a new smart contract. Uh, let me create it here. New Solidity file here basically. And let me name it that interface sample. So what we do here in this one, uh, we creating a interface and then we'll uh, use an interface to create a contract. Pragma Solidity 0 0.4.20 version. I'm creating an our interface. Okay, so this section is covering the interface. So I'm just creating an interface with an M member. And as we have just mentioned that all the functions which we have in the interface, it will be uh, having no body. It, it will not have any implementation. So first of all, I'm creating a function for set name. So this is my first function and I'm creating one more function here, set age as well. So there is no limit on the functions uh, which you can define in this one. So this is based upon your requirement. As you have the requirement, you can define the functions there. So this create your interface. You can see them. There is some warning here, which showing here that all the functions which you have defined. Let me show you the warning. Let me compile this one, or maybe show you here. So that function should be declared external whatever function you are adding it here it should be external functions so you might be already aware about the function type there can be functions internal and external types like you can define the further function either internal or external so it is expecting that this function which you are defining it should be external so you can ignore this warning for now but if you want to uh, uh, fix this one you can just uh, define this function external as well Okay, so this is how you can define the interface. Now, how this can be used? Let's see that one. So I'm creating a contract with the name teacher that is going to inherit this interface member. So now, what we'll do? Now, there is one more condition about this contract. This contract now has to uh, use both this function. Uh, let me connect this name member. So this has to use uh, both this function which we have defined in the memory interface. Now let's see that one public set name. Public returns string. Now I will return here mark. So this is the first implementation. You can see the still error is there saying that, let me show you here. Function variable struct or modified declaration expected. Let me see if we have done something wrong. No, it's all good. So let's go forward and just, okay, this is not correct. This should be function. Now this is error is gone. Now I will implement uh, the another function which we have in the interface. Public returns. I will return the each. So now there is few warning uh, about these two functions at top, which we can ignore for now. But this is how you can use it here. Okay. So you have already compiled. Now let's see few more fact about these interfaces. If you try to do, uh, deploy the interfaces, you will see this warning. This contract does not implement all the function that cannot be created because this is only function that defined. This is not being impl implemented in the member. So you cannot deploy this on the blockchain. But although 
you can deploy this TJ, which is uh, using this uh, member interface. Okay, so there are two functions which you can see set age, you can call, you can see set name, you can call. So this is how it, it will work. Now, the point which I was trying to say earlier, if you try to remove this one function from here, you you will see a warning message, you will see an error message. Now, let me show you. So now in the interface, I have two functions, but in the teacher contract, I have implemented only one function. So let's see how this will behave. You can compile here, but when you come to the run, when you try to deploy your teacher interface, a teacher contract, you will see an error. Deploy. This contract does not implement all the functions, thus cannot be created. So this is showing us a error. So that means whatever functions you have in the interface that should be implemented in the contract where you are referring this interface. If you don't do that one, you will not be able to go further with this one. So this is how the interface can be used uh, in the Solidity and this is how the contract can use the interfaces and can implement the function which is being defined there. I hope that you like this video and thanks for watching.